Handling painful goodbyes, lesson three. There are moments when silence is golden. As the Bible says it, there is time to keep silence and a time to speak. Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse seven. Knowing when to speak is a great tool in helping those who are going through the pain of loss. The approach of Eli to Hannah shows the pitfalls of failure to use silence during loss and its benefits. Number one, unhealed wounds and passing the pain to grieving families. Eli failed to deal with his wayward sons and continued to work even though he was wounded. When he saw Hannah praying, he passed on his pain to an innocent person. Number two, projection impedes the use of silence. When there is loss in a family, we often use our own lenses to interpret other people's losses. Eli was quick to project his son's wayward behavior to Hannah. The children of Eli were worthless men, for they did not know the Lord. The Samuel chapter 2 verse number 12. Speaking about projection, Nicole says, Eli judged from the circumstantial evidence rather than from the heart throbs of his worshippers. He was measuring Hannah by the criterion of his own experience with his sons. Number three, silence prevents unintended harm. By rebuking Hannah, the priest thought he was doing the right thing. However, Hannah was wounded by the untimely chastisement. Had the priest waited until she finished praying, the injury could have been prevented. Number four, silence can be therapeutic. If rightly used, silence can be healing to those going through painful goodbyes. If you don't know what to say, presence with therapeutic silence is better than presence with emotional disturbance. My prayer is that we may know when to speak and when to keep silent in the midst of painful goodbyes. I am yours truly, Skumbu Zodube. Your thoughts on this lesson? Leave your comments below. Thank you. Brought to you by Shunem Ke Ke.